All right, guys, so I'm going to mix these two non-sulfate shampoos together right along with these sample packs because I'm pretty much tired of all of them. And since I won't be using no more sulfate-free shampoos, I may as well just go on and mix these all together. So this is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo. I like it, but it's not necessary since... I mainly shampoo my hair with Sulfates now. And here is my Talia Wajid Total Body Black Earth Shampoo. This cleanses your body and your hair. This is a non sulfate too. And the reason why I'm getting rid of these two shampoos is because I'm a greasy baby and I use hair grease. And I don't know, I just don't feel like it's any reason for me to keep this. Then I got these sample packs. So this is the Amla Legend Rejuvenating Ritual Body Filler Hair Wash is a hydration and conditioning shampoo. And I'm going to mix this L'Oreal. Mm -hmm. Extra, I don't know, extraordinary stuff. This is a Shea Moisture Renewal Shampoo System here, Super Fruit Complex. I wonder if this a, uh, it's a 10 in 1 renewal system. I wonder if this is a protein treatment. It's got sulfate free and all this other, I don't know. I might keep it no way. Then I have the Love Beauty and Planet. This is by Love Beauty and Planet. Okay. And Oregon Oil and, and it has Oregon Oil and Lavender in it. And it's smooth and serene. It's a shampoo. So what I'm going to do is just take all these, everything, and just put it all in one big container. It's taken me a long time to use this. I've had, I've had this since 2014. The Talia Rajid Total Body Black Earth Shampoo. I don't gravitate to it. I'm just going to get rid of it. I don't need these shampoos anymore. And like I said before, once you get your hair regimen, regimen together and use all the products you like and stuff, a lot of stuff that you tried in the past, you don't find yourself gravitating to it anymore. And it serves no purpose. So I'm just going to stick to shampooing my hair with regular um, shampoo and, and sulfate and get rid of the non-sulfate because it's an in-between shampoo. I don't need that no more. And I'm just going to co-wash. So those are the two things I'm going to do. Regular shampoo, shampoo with sulfate and co-washing. There's some more stuff still in here. So we got that in there. And the reason why I keep using the, the co-wash uh, co wash conditioner is because it keeps my hair hydrated and it doesn't strip my hair. And it doesn't clean my hair. Like, I like it. It doesn't clean. It does a baby clean, but my scalp still be kind of uh, filled with gook and stuff. But I don't use it to cleanse my hair. I just use it to add moisture, a moisture balance back to my hair. So I got my scissors right here. I'm just going to cut. I'm just gonna mix this together because what is the, I don't even know if this is gonna even go in here. Is this gonna go in? Go in there. And you know these sample packs are so annoying. You find yourself collecting these sample packs and before you know it, it it's just too many of them and I'm not gonna use these individually. I've had these for years too. So I'm just gonna mix this all together and use it as one. And that way I can get rid of it all at one time. Alright, so we got that in there. So this is a good way to get rid of some product that you don't want to use anymore. Just mix them all together or give them away. I started giving my stuff away and I thought about it. I'm not giving my stuff away. I am not giving my stuff away. I'm going to get as much as I can out of here. There we go. Mm -hmm. I got some more here. I need to turn this upside down. And then when I get through putting the other ones... Where are you going to go? I'll put you over here. In this bowl. When I get through with the other ones, then I'll come back to that. So here goes the shampoo by Shea Moisture. The 10 in 1. The 10 in 1 um, renewal shampoo. Uh, it smells good. Nah, get out of my box. Get out of my stash, though. I don't feel like that no more. Oh, this was more runny and liquidy.
All right. I got got on. Oh, making a mess. I need a funnel. I need a funnel. It doesn't matter. All right. So, bye bye. Sample pack. All right. We got the L'Oreal right here. I even have the conditioner to this one too. So I got. I'm going to mix that conditioner with the other conditioners in it in the uh, sample pack and get rid of it too. Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys. We're almost done because I only got one more pack after this one. Then the op Optimum Salon. The Optimum Salon Amila Legend Hydration and Condition. Whatever this is, I don't know. Who cares? Ooh, that smells good too. Get out of here. I don't know what this is going to do to this black shampoo. The Tilly Wajid is a black shampoo. And body wash. And it's got to go. Should have stuck this in here like this probably. At this point, I don't care. Just get go away. It's just I'm cleaning out my stash. I'm clean, I'm keeping the products that I really really like. I've been doing that for the last few years, and it seems like I'm still holding on to stuff. Get out of here. All right, I'm done with that. Move over there. So let me get my dish towel. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just gonna wipe this off right here. And do a little shaky wakey and see what color it comes out of. Oh, <laughs> you see the shea moisture selling to the bottom. Now, my shea moisture had like a little light leather, lather, and this black shampoo had a light leather. All right, so we did that shaky. Which reminds me, I need to get back over here and use the rest of this. Take the cap off. No, it's not that much in there. Oh, that's enough. Ain't nothing coming out. Alright guys, so this is the color of it. it. It's not as black anymore, but I don't care. So this is the color of the shampoo. It's no longer that black. Well, look at that. It's got like a... Look like it's more gray. <laughs> And I'll probably get a good lather out of this because those other shampoos were sulfate. And maybe a, a few of them work. Alright. So we're done with this shampoo. So I'm just going to go on and cut this, these um, sample packages of conditioner. And mix them together. This is the L'Oreal Extra Extraordinary Oil Nourishing um, Conditioner go away I don't care I just want you out of my life just get out of my life go away just in, just take up space all right so we got that ah! it's the love beauty and planet organ oil and lavender smooth and serene conditioner that matched the other sample pack And the last one, this is by Garnier. Yeah, here. This this is by Garnier Whole Blends. It's a hydrating conditioner. I don't even know how I even got all these sample packs. Go away. So I could probably use this real soon. Alright, this is how it looks. In this little cup. Should I mix this? Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about it today. But I'm just gonna mix it like this and get back to it later. Oh. So here we go right here. Alright, now I got more space in my cabinet. So here we go. We got these two 
shampoo, non-sulfate mixed with sulfate and conditioners. And I'm going to throw all these away. I do have some more sample packs here. I got the Manoy oil. I could probably put that on my hair today. I have the Cantu Natural Hair Coconut Curling Cream. I don't use curling creams. I'm not, I don't gravitate to them. Here goes Miss Jessie's Curly Meringue, the best door on curl creams, period. I don't style my hair like, like that, so. Here goes the Dark and Lovely Coil Moisturizing Souffle and Curl Defining Cream Glaze. And here goes my bowl. Put these back in here. All these go back in here. Take them back downstairs and put them in my stash. And I am done, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you all... Uh-oh, I dropped something. <laughs> Let me know if you guys mix stuff together just to get rid of it. Alright, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye!